Hello everybody, welcome to the shop. Today we're gonna do uh, just a little air conditioning thing here type video because I wanted to show this tool here that I got for injecting. If you ever need to inject dye or oil into your air conditioning system, obviously the best time to do that is when you first charge the system. But if you find later on, hey, I got a leak or something, I need to inject some of this UV dye, then you're gonna need the an injector tool. So I got this off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. The reason I chose this one is it's pretty solid, pretty heavy duty. Not one of those plastic jobbers. I paid, I think I paid $34 for it at one time. And I've used it a couple times, pretty happy with it. And also the reason I bought it, I mean, it's heavy. It's, it's you know, it's aluminum, but uh, pretty strong. And it also came with uh, both fittings here, high side and low side, for 134R, 134A. Um, really only need the low side fitting, but you never know when you need fittings. And the price was the same. It also came with a little tool for removing Schrader valves from your air AC lines, should you need to do that. And I don't know where it went. I dropped it somewhere and I can't find it. I'm gonna have to find it so I don't run it over and put it through a tire. But uh, you can always also use that here to help bleed the, the hose once you get your product in. So what we're gonna do today, I actually want to have, this truck is relatively new to me and I don't know if it has any dye in the AC system. I like to keep dye in there so if I ever have a problem, it's, it's already in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of UV dye in here just picked this up at the hardware store. I'll put a link for that in the description below. And, you know, if you ever need oil, a lot of trucks take this PAG 100, but uh, check, make sure the kind of oil your truck would take. Um, I always put, always put the oil in when you first charge the system. But uh, something I've been putting in all my vehicles here, did it in my personal vehicles, and I'm gonna do it in my Mac truck here, and then my Freightliner after that is, this Coolox product, I've put it in my, my pickup truck, 17 year old pickup truck, original, all original AC components, and I gained about 10 degrees right off the bat in cold air on a, on a tired old AC system. So I'm gonna put it in the trucks here. I already, already put it in one, good results. I'm gonna show you how to put it in this one today. Uh, link in the description below where, where you can get this along with a, a discount code save you some money You can also put it in your home AC systems Whatever uh, This tool here is gonna come apart. We're just gonna spin the well first I'm gonna back this off so I can get a grip on it here She's a little slippery the top comes off right here So there's just a little tiny bit of product left in there. It goes down in there. Uh, conveniently, you have some measurement lines on this thing. I really like this tool. Uh, I'm glad I bought it as opposed to a cheap plastic one. And what you do is you back this all the way off to where you want to measure out. Like we're going to use an ounce today. I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of UV dye in there. So I actually have a measurement thing on here for an ounce or half ounce, I'm gonna put an ounce in there. That's a half ounce. And an ounce, oops. So you gotta back this collar off to get make more room in there. There's a plunger inside of there. I'm gonna put a little bit of UV dye in there. You don't need but a, uh, I mean, an ounce is plenty in the system. I'm not even gonna put that much in this. This little container here is an ounce. Put about, I'm put about half of it in. We'll put the lid back on. Also comes in a smaller bottle. Um, so what you can do is, if you don't have anything to measure it before you put it in, you back this down here, and then you can bleed some out the end of the hose until you get the one ounce mark. 
And then you know you got one ounce in there and then you just inject that entire amount into the system. So we're gonna have a little bit of air in the hose here. I'm going to bleed that out. I'm just going to take and put, put one of the valves on, the adapters on here. To, there you can see the product coming out. So now we're down uh, right about that ounce mark on here. So we got the air out of there and we're ready to, to apply it here. I'll show you how to do that. And what we need to do is find the low side port for your air conditioning. Mine is right in there. Put your collar on there, snap it on, make sure it's on tight. Um, please make sure you're wearing safety glasses whenever you're doing any kind of air conditioning work. You do not want to get this stuff in your eyes. So what I have to do is start the truck and turn the air conditioning on wide open. Now what I'm going to do to inject this I'm going to crawl up here and I'm going to hold this with two hands and I'm going to slowly turn this sleeve here and it's going to push the additive right up the, 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 the cylinder here and uh, into the system. I'm going to do it very slowly over the course of a few minutes so I don't put too much in too fast. Alright, we got it all pulled in there. You can see the plunger is all the way up here, forced it all out of the system. And um, we're saying, while I'm doing that, I'm watching the compressor down here, make sure it's engaged. If it stops, uh, you know, if the kicks out, I just want to take a pause and make the compressor kick back in and go back at it. All I got to do is uh, unplug that, put the cat back on, and we are finished here. Check the links in the description below this video for all the products I used here today and a discount on the Coolox product and I recommend that tool it's a pretty handy tool and uh, it seems to be of strong quality here it doesn't seem it's not a cheap Chinese piece of crap or cheap I should take that back it is Chinese but it's not a plastic piece of crap all right everybody take care we'll see you next time